So today's video is going to be a back to school supply haul, but this is for art school because I feel like I've mentioned it a couple times like in passing in videos, but if you didn't know, uh, I just started college and I'm going to art school. I have a lot of stuff um, because at my school, I don't know if they do this at all art schools, it would make sense if they did but we get a freshman supply kit that comes with tons of art supplies, like everything we could possibly need and more, yet somehow we still need to buy like additional stuff that doesn't come in the kit for different classes. But I'm gonna try to go through it relatively quick because there is a lot. So I'm just gonna start off with the stuff that I bought um, on my own. So the first thing I have is a planner. I am planner obsessed. Um, this one is from Bando. I think that's how you say it, like B-A-N-D-O, that brand, but it's super cute. I'm pretty sure this is the paper source like exclusive design. It might not be, but I feel like that is what they said. Um, I got it at paper source. Also, I really like, I'm struggling with my hair today. I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't know. We're just gonna roll with it. But yeah, I really liked this one. I liked how it wasn't the spiral bound and the hardcover. I like the size of it. It's got this kind of thing. And it just has a lot of like really cute art and stuff in it. And I really liked that. And it also comes with stickers. I actually have a band of sticker book too, but now I have more stickers. I also just went to Target to pick up a couple things. Uh, first, I just bought a external hard drive because I am an advertising and graphic design major, so backing up your files is very important. Or like for anything you do on the computer, like if you're an animation person or anything like that, this is very important. Um, this one's really cute though, it's pink, and it was on sale. It was still $75, but it was on sale. <laughs> I also got just a standard uh, five subject notebook. I had um, little, like not little, but they were moleskin notebooks that I was using for the classes. Like I haven't really written much in them, but I discovered that that was very ineffective to have a notebook for each class. Just keeping it all in here is much more efficient. So now we're moving to the stuff that I got from uh, the school. I, of course I did like pay for all of this stuff because it's included in your tuition, but uh, yeah, this is all the stuff that I got. This is just a little sketchbook that um, I got from one of my professors. We've just been like doing a lot of like ideas and stuff in it. What brand is this? I don't know but I, what brand it is, but I really like it. Handbook? I don't know exactly what that is, but it's nice and a good size to keep in your bag. Also the backpack I've been using is this one. It's the Konkin, you know, super like basic but it's the 17 inch laptop size and it fits like everything I need really well. We got a bunch of different pads of paper. There's a tracing paper, a, what size is this? 11 by 14 mixed media sketchbook. I love mixed media paper, so I'm really glad that they gave us that. Even though I already have a lot of this stuff, like you couldn't really like pick and choose what you got. They just kind of gave it all to you. Um, but, I don't know, the more the merrier, I guess. <laughs> also, this sketchbook, it's just like, I don't know, it doesn't have anything on it, but it's just like plain sketch paper. I don't know if it's supposed to go this way or this way, but there's that. Um, what is this? Oh. Oh, this is palette paper. Okay. So, it's just gray palette paper that goes in this Stay Wet palette. I actually already have a blue one of these, it's bigger, so I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with two of them now, but I don't know. Maybe I can like sell the smaller one because I have the bigger one that's nicer. Also got a metal ruler, there you go, pretty standard. I have a really big sketch pad, um, I don't think there's anything in this one yet. This I have to take to my drawing class at 8am every... I'm not gonna tell you what days my classes are, but uh, yeah, I have to carry that around. I put it in the car after my class, but that sucks to lug around. Um, and it comes with this drawing board that we're supposed to use. So it has a handle, which helps, but 
I also have a newsprint pad in here, which I had to buy additionally for the same class because I don't know why we need two pads of paper, but we do. This The sketch is nicer paper, but I don't know. There's just so much in there. This is like what we've been doing. Some like observational drawings and just like, I don't know, all that kind of stuff in. And then... Yeah, we use a drawing horse, if you know what that is. It's like those weird little chairs you sit on and they kind of suck. They're really uncomfortable to sit in for like two hours, but oh well, you gotta do what you gotta do. The class really isn't that bad. But also got a cutting mat for, you know, all your cutting needs. And then I also have this little toolbox. It's an art bin thing that came with a bunch of smaller uh, supplies. There's some things that weren't included in there. It says they're missing three acrylic paints, black, white, and yellow. So we're, we have to like go back into the store to get those once they come in. They have a supply store on campus, which is really nice. Uh, but there's a little set of paint brushes. We got a bigger flathead brush, a smaller one, a rounded brush, and then a little detail brush. And they did give us the nice uh, acrylic paints. They're the Windsor and Newton ones. So these are the paints that are missing. I just need the yellow and then black and white. Pretty much all the colors you will need. Um, I would prefer to also have like a nice set of like burnt uh, umbers and siennas or maybe like even raw umbers or siennas. But you know, that's a whole nother thing. Um, it also comes with an X-Acto knife. This is just the small kind like that. I like these because they're a lot easier to do like precise cuts. And then it also comes with another one. Um, it's this kind of X-Acto knife. It's like more of the box cutter sort of thing. I don't know what I'll really like need to use this for unless I have to use something that's cardboard. That would be better but it came with some extra blades for each kind of X-Acto knife. So a couple kinds of masking tape in there. There's hair stuck to it because it was sitting on the carpet. That's gross. Um, there's also rubber cement in here, but this is an additional thing that I bought from the supply store for a project that I'm working on. There's some double-sided scotch tape and a pair of scissors. Oh, I also got a couple of textbooks. These are real boring, but I'll show them to you anyway. Uh, this is on the Adobe Creative Cloud suite just lessons on how to use it because everyone's kind of at a different level like I'm pretty confident with Illustrator and Photoshop but I don't know InDesign I've never used InDesign before so that'll be useful but it's just like a workbook to go through all of those for one of my classes and then also this huge book that I actually bought I couldn't find it anywhere like used or uh, to rent but it wasn't that expensive actually it was only like $55 with the shipping, um, I got it from Walmart, which like if you didn't know, Walmart is like trying to be more like Amazon. They have a huge online selection of stuff and free two day shipping, which is pretty great because I found it like slightly cheaper at a couple other places, but it would have taken like 10 days to ship. And I was like, I should probably get this ASAP. So it was $55, which in the world of textbooks really isn't that bad, but yeah, it's my graphic design history textbook which seems really boring but it's actually really interesting to me because I'm like a graphic design nerd and then also one of the things they gave us is this box of uh well this is a box there's other stuff in here but it's an art bin box and then inside there's a bunch of drawing essentials oh I actually didn't know that some of this stuff was in here I haven't taken a very close look because again, I have a lot of this stuff already, so I've just been using like the supplies that I already had. Uh, but it comes with some Stittler pencils. Um, I personally use the Faber-Castell ones. I think that's what it is. Hold on. Yeah, they're the Faber- oh, I always thought there was an R in there. Faber-Castell? I don't know. But that's the pencils that I've been using for quite a long time. Got my supply bag also. This is from Ikea. Highly recommend. I showed it in my last supply haul last year but it comes with like a bunch of mesh bags and they like fit inside this bag and it's really useful for art supplies. Anyways back to this. Yeah the Stittler pencils. I feel like I've said that like three different ways. Stittler, Stittler, I don't know it's ger a German 
name, I think. I feel like I should be able to say that considering I took three years of German, but oh well. What are these? Sketching crowns? Okay. I'm not familiar with these, but I probably will be. Sketching crayons? I don't know. I would expect to know what that is if I'm in art school, but I don't know. You learn something new, I guess. But what's next? Oh, some little charcoal sticks. Pencil sharpener. Oh, it's gold. I've never seen a gold one before. That's cute. Oh, I actually almost bought these kind of recently, and I'm glad I didn't because... I got some <laughs> in my tuition, but I've used these before. I really like these. They're the Faber-Castell, um, what are they called? Oh, artist pens, pit artist pens. Charcoal pencils, there's some black ones and a white one. It comes with an eraser and a pencil sharpener. A little uh, gum eraser, or as they call it, a kneaded rubber eraser. I always called these gum erasers, so I don't know which one's correct, but yeah, that kind of eraser, which is really useful for drawing, um, like sketching and shading kind of thing. Uh, and then this kind of eraser, which is just good for like erasing solid lines. It's the Stettler, Stettler, whatever brand. <laughs> plastic eraser, that's the difference. This one is plastic and this one is rubber, but I really like these ones. And then the last thing I have is a Wacom tablet, which was the one thing that you could like opt out of getting in your kit but because a lot of students like have their own Wacom tablets because you know if you do digital art then that's like a really big thing to have unless you have an iPad with an Apple Pencil but I did not have a Wacom tablet I used them at school but I did not have my own so this is really good it's the smaller one um, just a little black like plug-in one Oh, and it's uh, the Bluetooth one also. Actually, it's not the plug-in. That is all of the supplies that I have for freshman year art school. I honestly thought this video would take a lot longer, but um, it did take a good bit. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I finally got around to doing a back-to-school video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you're an artist uh, what your favorite supplies are and if you have any like recommendations for me or anything like that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!